Hey all, Zach here at Spawn Sauna Company. Well, I became so convinced of the health benefits provided by regular sauna use that I went ahead and sold one to myself. And then I set a goal of doing 30 sweats in 30 days, meaning I just used my sauna 30 consecutive days. I went a step further though. I wanted to share my experiences with you. So I decided to go ahead and do a video blog series, if you will. So at the end of every fifth day, I just kind of recap my experiences because my intention was to ramp up the intensity of the temperature as well as duration, kind of easing my way into it as you'll see here shortly. Now that my 30 day challenge is complete, I am really excited to bring you um, that video series. Let's take a look. at 15 minutes is pretty low for traditional, but I wanted to ease my way into it. And since I decided as part of my 30 day challenge, I wanted to give you my feedback and also kind of chart my progress for my own benefit as well. I want to start low, work my way into it and just kind of see what it's like uh, to be a sauna user and to use one. I really, really dig using my sauna. Uh, I'm not sure that I really notice um, getting to sleep easier but I definitely feel like I'm getting a deeper sleep, which is more than welcome. And I just love um, shaking off the chill of the winter nights because I'm using this in the evenings uh, shortly before going to bed and just feeling the heat soak in my body, loosening up uh, ligaments and muscles and uh, yeah, definitely feel the heart rate ticking up just a bit. So I'm really anxious to get your feet. I have to tell you the extra six degrees noticeable but uh, not that big a difference although i i did notice i'm sweating more which is good and uh the extra two minute duration didn't even notice um i actually find myself wanting more time thinking when my timer goes off that uh, i'm not ready to get out yet um really enjoying it like i uh, said in the last video really looking forward to actually ramping it up even more As I suspected in my last video, this jump from 146 to 52, uh, excuse me, to 152 uh, was a significant one. Uh, noticeably hotter in the sauna, uh, which is good. It's just, uh, it, it was a little more intense for sure than 140 or 146. I'm really glad I'm ramping it up the way I am and not trying to just jump in straight at 170, both for duration and um, uh, for temperature as well. Uh, still really enjoying it. Now I've got some great news. Uh, I've had a recurring uh, shoulder issue for, gosh, several months now. I want to say mid um, mid fall, and um, just wasn't getting any better. Um, hadn't done anything different, except that I've been doing uh, my sauna now for about half a month, uh, about 15 days. In the last several days, it's finally starting to feel like it's making improvement. I'm really thrilled about that. That was a kind of thing I was hoping not only to experience, but be able to share with you. And I'm going to start this off by saying it's getting real. Temperature 158, more than halfway to my goal of 170. And I am at my max duration of 21 minutes for this 30 day challenge. Sorry, it's a lot of numbers, I know. But it's getting real. Uh, the heat, the sweat factor all ramped up quite a bit. And as you can see on me, um, the sweat factor is going up. And I think that means that I'm doing a good job of flushing toxins, which is one of the reasons why I was so intrigued with uh, getting a sauna of my own. And I wanted to give you a little insight on what my regimen is. So when I wrap it up, obviously pretty sweaty, uh, use my towel, towel down, get as much of that sweat and toxins off the surface as I can. And then I go take a warm shower. I uh, don't want to do a hot shower because that strips off body oils and such. And then you can, you know, have dry skin, which I tend to have anyway. Um, and uh, the sauna actually helps generate those oils. So that's a good solution for those of you out there like me with dry skin, especially in the drier time of the year. Um, also, uh, you don't want a cold shower because you want to kind of ease the pores down. You don't want them to clamp shut and potentially um, draw back in any sweat and toxins. So a nice cool to warm shower just to rinse off and that preps the body for that long cool down to uh, go into sleep cycle. However, uh, because of the intensity, I am finding that um, the heart rate is ticking up quite a bit. I'm breathing a little bit heavier. 
than, well, heavier than you think you would just sitting here uh, because it's a, it's a little bit of a cardiovascular workout. You definitely get a cardiovascular response and therefore because the circulation's moving, oxygen to the brain's ramping up right before bed, I'm doing it too late at night. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to get to sleep, but man, once I'm out, I'm sleeping uh, like a log, which is great. So I'm gonna try to do this a little bit earlier in the evenings and uh, in the summer months, I'm looking forward to doing this in the mornings instead. That's the plan anyway, so. The uh, sweat factor is definitely ramped up and uh, that brings to mind something I wanted to tell you um, to add on to my routine that I mentioned from last video. So after I've toweled down, showered, um, kind of getting into bed and get ready to, to start slipping into that sleep cycle, it's important to rehydrate. Uh, water is great, but if you'd like a little bit more electrolytes, which I like to do, um, juice is a great way to do it. I find apple juice got a great sweet flavor, but a little too sweet straight. So what I do, and you know, you're Feel free to find your own uh, your own elixir, if you will. But I like to do like a 50-50 mix of water and apple juice, and I drop three to four frozen strawberries in there. Use those as ice cubes. And by the time I'm done drinking the, the juice mix, then I get a nice little treat at the end with some thawed strawberries. So it's a great way, uh, low cost and easy to do, great way to recharge the body. Uh, after you flush those toxins through the sweat, get your, uh, your body chemistry back in line with some electrolytes, and then, um, like I said, just get ready to bed and, and uh, get a good night's sleep, so. Just wrapped up day 30. My 30 day challenge is complete. Days 26 through 30, I uh, hit my goal of 170 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 minutes. Um, I actually decided in the last couple days to exceed both of those, so I'm kind of bouncing around uh, 22, maybe 23 minutes, and I kind of in that uh, low to mm, flirting with mid 170s, about 173, 174. It's intense. Uh, I love it. It's just a great experience. Uh, again, flushing those toxins, getting the heart rate going, and um, really getting some blood flow to the brain, and it's just invigorating. Uh, I'm really digging it. So nice, cool shower afterwards, like I mentioned before. Also recharging with water or juice, something like that. Um, I, I dig it. I'm so glad that I made this purchase. I'm so glad that I did this video series to share that with you. And I look forward to some long-term updates. Uh, until then, hey, uh, if you are interested in a sauna, I can speak from experience. I highly recommend it. Indoor, outdoor, uh, two-person, eight-person, traditional infrared, uh, our brand, their answer is, if it can be done, yes, they'll make it. So uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, we can walk through some designs or just kind of get an off-the-shelf unit like I did and uh, find out uh, more. So, All right, well, just to recap, I love sauna. Oh, man, uh, deeper sleep, uh, smoother skin, happier shoulder, just to name a few things. And I am just so thrilled with my purchase and my decision to, to do this video series and share all that with you. Uh, I have since switched to morning use and uh, I find it's a great way to jumpstart the day. So I do recommend that, depending on your schedule, obviously. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my recap and uh, don't be surprised if I do a follow-up video, kind of give you some how-tos for shopping for a sauna, what to look for, what to stay away from, and maybe even give you some details on the specific unit that I went with. So. Until then, Zach at Spawn Sauna, if you have any questions, uh, give me a shout. I'm happy to answer those and get you pointing in the right direction. Until next time, have a great day.